Kinan North just shy of Super Typhoon status and continuing to strengthen. Typhoon Himnam Noor continues to defy expectations yet again. Right now a category 4, just about 24 hours ago it was a high end tropical storm, but as of now it has wind speeds of 145 miles an hour, a central pressure of 936 millibars, placing it just shy of a super typhoon, currently moving to the west southwest at 19 miles an hour as well. 75 nautical miles uh, wind field to the northeast, 70 to the southeast, 45 to the southwest, and 65 nautical miles to the northwest. Right now, there's a gale advisory downgraded from, I believe, a warning for the Agasawa Islands. Uh, however, it is right now 569 miles away from Osaka, 591 from Tokyo, the capital, 611 from Kagoshima, 722 from Naha, and 1111 miles away from Taipei in Taiwan. That's 916 kilometers away from Osaka, 951 from Tokyo, the capital of Japan, 983 from Kagoshima, 1162 from Naha in the Agasawara island chain, and 1788 from Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. Maximum sustained winds right now, as I said, is 145 miles an hour, just shy of a super typhoon. However, ADT, for last I saw, is lagging behind slightly at 125 miles an hour, AMSU and SATCON at 130 miles an hour. Here's the latest cone from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Now, these guys predict a 145 knot peak for this system in a few days time, placing it a the first category five of the year. What probably led to that forecast is the H-Wharf run on your screen right about now, which predicts category five much earlier than the JTWC do, mind you. But um, yeah, once again, they predict quite a lot of rainfalls all the way above 32 inches in some aspects. What's probably fueling this forecast right now is the fact that sea surface temperatures are off the charts right now. If I'm reading that correctly, that's probably about 30 degrees right there and then under the storm right about now. The chance of storm force winds for this system right now, if you're just off the off coast of Naha, I believe, if I'm reading that correctly, that's about a 50-60% chance right about there in a few days' time. Chance of typhoon force winds right now. I hope that doesn't affect any land areas, but that's as far as I can see for the moment. But it's not looking very good right now for the Ogasawara island chain, especially as the storm is expected to stall and then curve towards the north. Uh, could bring prolonged effects for the Ogasawara island chain. The and multi-model diagnostics really taking this up quite a lot as of now. The player shear is moderate for the moment, but it is expected to rise by a significant amount in a few days' time. The sea surface temperatures are once again off the charts, above 30 degrees in some aspects. Mid-level relative humidity is also quite high. Now, here's the satellite imagery of this system The as uh, daylight approaches on it, even though this is infrared imagery. But uh, like I said, just 24 hours ago, it was a, str a strong tropical storm. Now it's a category four, almost a super typhoon.